This short, simple guide to the element nickel will provide facts and information for chemistry students who are learning about the periodic table, and in particular, the element nickel. Each chemical element is given a unique chemical symbol, which is used all over the world. The chemical symbol for nickel is Ni. The chemical symbols of elements come from their English, Greek, or Latin names. The first letter of a symbol is always a capital letter, and if there are any subsequent letters, they are expressed in lower case. The name nickel derives from an abbreviation of the German word Kupfernickel, meaning devil's copper. In German, Kupfer means copper, and nickel means devil. The German word nickel was a form of the name Nicholas, a term commonly associated with the devil, which is why Old Nick is a familiar name for Satan. The metal was originally named by German miners who believed that the devil had changed or contaminated this strange ore, turning it into a less valuable and harder to work metal than valuable copper. The name was given by the chemist Axel von Kronstadt, who discovered the element. All of the chemical elements are given a unique atomic number. The atomic number for nickel is 28. Atoms are made up of three kinds of smaller particles, called protons, neutrons, and electrons. The atomic number is the number of protons in the atom. The chemical elements of the periodic table are shown in order of atomic number and identified by their symbol. The periodic table is a chart showing the symbols and the atomic numbers of all known elements, such as nickel, in one large grid. The chemical elements of the periodic table are placed in order of their atomic numbers. Atomic numbers increase as you move across a row, called a group, or down a column, called a period. The atomic number for nickel is 28. The element symbol for nickel is Ni. Nickel was discovered by Baron Axel Frederick Kronstedt in 1751. Axel von Kronstedt was a mining expert with the Bureau of Mines, and when he attempted to extract copper from what he thought was a copper ore, he produced a silvery white metal instead. He named the new metal nickel, meaning devil's copper. The element nickel is one of over 100 different chemical elements that are known to modern chemistry. Each element is first identified at room temperature and pressure as being a solid, liquid, or gas, referred to as states of matter. Nickel is a solid at normal room temperature and pressure. Each element has physical properties that can be observed and measured, such as color, density, and odor. The chemical properties are the characteristics that determine how a substance will react with other substances, such as water or oxygen. What is nickel? In a general overview of the element, we can at first describe nickel as a solid. Nickel is a solid. It is a lustrous, silvery-white, hard metallic element. However, most nickel compounds are blue and green. Nickel occurs sparingly in nature in minerals, such as pentlodite and nickelite. It is present in most meteorites. Nickel is used especially for mixing with other metals and for plating. The more specific physical properties of nickel can usually be observed using our senses or involve a numerical measurement, such as determining its boiling, freezing, and melting points. The physical properties of nickel are it is a silvery white metal, which is a fairly good conductor of heat and electricity. It can be beaten into extremely thin sheets and being shaped or bent. Nickel exhibits a shine or glow and is harder than iron. It is ferromagnetic, which means that nickel is easily magnetized. The chemical properties are the characteristics that determine how nickel will react with other substances when it is changed chemically. The chemical properties of nickel are it is highly resistant to rusting and corrosion. Reactivity with oxygen. Nickel metal does not react with air under ambient conditions, but in the finely dispersed state, nickel it ignites spontaneously in air. Common alloys are stainless steel and copper nickel alloy tubing. Its compounds are used for electroplating and to make nickel alloys. Once the properties of an individual element have been identified, it is placed into a group of elements which have common properties and characteristics. Nickel is in the group called the transition metals. The 38 elements classified as transition metals are in, found in the middle of the periodic table in groups 3 through 12. Only a few of the transition metals are colored. Most of them are silver gray or silver bluish. As with all metals, the transition elements are ductile and malleable and good conductors of electricity and heat. They are generally hard and dense and less reactive than the alkali metals. Iron, copper, silver, and gold are important transition metals. Once the properties of an element have been established, we then have the ability to identify how it can be used. One of the most common uses of nickel is in stainless steel appliances. In 1913, English metallurgist Harry Brearley accidentally discovered that adding chromium to low carbon steel gave it stain resistance. The addition of nickel and other elements enhances the corrosion resistance of stainless steel. 
Nickel is also used in coinage, corrosion-resistant alloys, nickel plating, vaults, and nickel-cadmium batteries. The properties of nickel are classified by many other factors, including the melting point, boiling point, atomic mass, and density of the element. All of these precise measurements, together with additional facts and information, can be found on our website. So ends our simple guide to the element nickel. We have created a unique collection of videos on many other important elements that have been developed to enable chemistry students to gain a fast overview of the properties of each of the elements together with their discovery and history. Check out our easy video guides to the elements via our website.